locations. Now I want to get to our future track snowfall tracker, which does show again El Paso, Las Cruces. We could maybe see some light snow. It all depends on the timing, how much rain we get, how cold it's going to get. Now I do think most of the accumulation will be around the Gila region and around the Sacramento mountains. This model also showing close to an inch and a half of snow out in Columbus. Now for today, no snow. It's actually going to be pretty warm and windy this afternoon. Our future track does show plenty of sunshine though around two o'clock, three o'clock, but the clouds will be on the increase through tonight. So the overnight hours, we will be under partly to mostly cloudy skies at four o'clock. A few light sprinkles rolling through Tornillo and then we'll monitor that system just northwest of El Paso and Las Cruces around seven o'clock Wednesday. So the best chance will be late Wednesday into Thursday for us to see isolated showers. Expect gusts up to 30 miles per hour today, tomorrow around 40 and then 50 miles per hour on Thursday. Once we get past Thursday, the winds will be lighter for the rest of the week. So for Thursday, gusts up to 50 miles per hour. I'd say it's strongest between 10 and 3 o'clock. After 3 o'clock, still going to be windy. I just think we'll see our peak wind gust up to 50 miles per hour through that time frame. And the winds will be strongest along the eastern slopes of the area mountains. So windy today, we're warm. El Paso, Las Cruces, close to 70, 54 Ruidoso, and 41 Cloudcroft. Overnight lows will drop to the 30s. Las Cruces, we're partly cloudy, 40s here in El Paso, and I still think we'll be dealing with breezy to windy conditions. So tomorrow we're windy at 73. We will go from 73 to only 49 on Thursday. So a huge drop in temperatures, isolated rain chances, and snow chances. I have about a 30% chance. Friday, Saturday into the weekend, calm weather will be near 80 degrees.